Hi, Rachel. Um, here's question six from problem homework set 2.1. And this is the same problem that we went over in class. So there's two ways that you could do this. One would be on a calculator. So I'm going to pull up a calculator here on my computer. And so the first thing I need to figure out is what are the total frequencies. I'm going to add up all the frequencies shown here. So I've got 5 plus 14 plus 18 plus 8 plus 3, and my total is 48. So what I could do for each of the categories here is take the frequency for that particular grade and divide by 48, multiply by 100, and that would give me the percent. So if I take 5 divided by 48, and then I go ahead and multiply by 100 because I want the percent, I've got 10.42. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that in here, 10.42. And I could continue to do that for each of the frequencies here, 14 divided by 48, multiplied by 100, and so forth. I can also go into StatCrunch. And when I open it up in StatCrunch, I mentioned this in class. The thing is, it doesn't have the letter grade. So you're going to have to go into the second column, which is labeled VAR2, and let's just type in A, B, C, D, and F so that StatCrunch has identifiers for what these frequencies relate to. So now go to Stat, Tables, Contingency with Summary. Pick the column with the counts in it, and in this case, it's in the column labeled VAR1. Click it, and it'll move it to the right. And then the row labels, we just put those in the column labeled VAR2. Remember, we added those A, B, C, D. Let's see if I can pull it over a little bit. I put those in VAR2, and that's all I need to do. And then I'm just going to get down to the bottom of the screen. I don't think you can see it on here with my window, but you're going to hit Compute. All right, and there's your frequency, your percentages there. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, I didn't put percent. Hold on, let me go back, edit. And down here, I want to put percent of total. Sorry, I forgot to put that in. All right, so now I've got the percents. And again, there's the first one that I had, 10.42. And then I can just go ahead and add these in here. 29 point, let me move the screen over so we can see these side by side. So let's get my window up here. And I would just continue to put the numbers in here. I see for the B, which is 29.17. And for C, I've got 37.5. And again, these are the numbers in parentheses below the counts. And for D, I've got 16.67. And for F, I've got 6.25. And then just check my answer. And I got it correct. So I hope that helps you. I, I, I looked at the handout. Um, that I gave with the answers um, after class, and it matches up what I just did and also what we did in class. So I hope this helps.